the Litter Robot 4 is equipped with OmniSense detection that utilizes laser and weight sensor technology to provide real-time litter and waste drawer levels. OmniSense also supports the Safe Cat system, which continuously analyzes four safety zones to ensure your cat is always safe. There are three laser sensors located in the top of the bezel, called curtain sensors, that accurately measure the capacity of the waste drawer. Once a full waste drawer is detected, the unit will indicate it is full with a flashing blue light bar. You will also receive a notification on your phone if you use the Whisker app. The unit will cycle two additional times before it will no longer automatically cycle. If your unit has a flashing blue light bar, this indicates that the waste drawer needs to be emptied. Emptying the waste drawer when indicated is important to ensure that your litter robot continues to automatically cycle. Press the reset button, then press the cycle button to start a clean cycle. If your unit returned home and displays a solid blue light bar, you've been successful. If your unit is not displaying a solid blue light bar after resetting at home position or cannot complete the cycle, please follow these troubleshooting steps. The Litter Robot 4 is equipped with OmniSense detection that utilizes laser and weight sensor technology to provide real-time litter and waste drawer levels. Stretched bags or bags not pressed flat will cause the OmniSense detection to inaccurately measure the waste drawer level. Ensure the bag is pushed flat against the side walls and bottom of the drawer. Press the reset button, then press the cycle button to start a clean cycle. If the blue light on your litter robot is still blinking, we will walk you through some additional troubleshooting steps. Let's take a closer look at the sensors located in the bezel. Any debris on the bezel, such as dust or cat fur, can interfere with the DFI sensor. Debris, such as dust or cat fur, can interfere with the operation of these sensors. This can cause the unit to inaccurately measure the waste drawer level and litter level, as well as cause false cat detections. Wipe the bezel area where the sensors are located with a dry clean cloth to remove debris such as hair or dust. Vacuum the inside perimeter of the bezel, passing over the holes at the top of the bezel where the curtain sensors are located. You may need to clean the sensors with a cotton swab. Please refer to our laser sensor cleaning video to learn how. Now, let's run a test cycle. Short press the reset button, then short press the cycle button to run a clean cycle. If your litter robot displays a solid blue light bar after cleaning the sensors, you've been successful. If your unit is not displaying a solid blue light bar, please follow these troubleshooting steps. First, let's make sure your firmware is up to date. Whisker has the ability to provide updated firmware to your robot with fixes to correct known issues with the unit. We recommend that you always keep your litter robot's firmware updated to ensure the best possible operation. Note, in order to update your firmware via the app, your robot must already be onboarded to the Whisker app. For help with onboarding, please watch our Litter Robot 4 Getting Started Guide. In the Whisker app, select your Litter Robot 4 unit from the dashboard. Tap on the gear icon in the top right corner. On the Robot Settings screen, tap on Firmware Information. On the Information page, tap Update Firmware to begin the update process. If you don't see the option, then you already have the latest firmware update. This may take up to 30 minutes to complete. You will see a single white light blinking on your unit's control panel while your robot's firmware is updating. Try to keep your cat out of the unit during the update, since your cat may not be detected by the sensors during the update period. Once the update is complete, your litter robot should be ready for use. If your unit displays a solid blue light bar, you've been successful. If your unit is not displaying a solid blue light bar, please follow these troubleshooting steps. Let's check for any additional debris or foreign objects that may interfere with the sensors during the cycle. First, we will remove the bonnet and globe to look for any issues. Make sure the unit is in the home position. Press the power button to turn the unit off, then unplug the unit from the wall. If you have a fence installed, remove this from the bezel. To open the bonnet, press and hold the latches on both sides of the bonnet, then lift and rotate the bonnet to its open position. Note, you typically need to remove the bonnet completely only during deep cleaning or bonnet replacement. To remove the globe, grab the black handle located on top of the globe and lift the globe off the base. Lift the globe up and away from the base and place it on the ground nearby. This will provide access to the base unit. Remove the waste drawer and empty or set aside. Cat fur can get stuck in the seal strip located at the lower front of the globe. When the globe rotates, fur can interfere with the curtain sensors. 
Ensure the seal strips on the inside of the globe are not peeling up or have any debris stuck in them. Check the waste pour opening in the globe and base for any clumps or objects stuck around the opening. The sensors need a clear field of view to measure the waste drawer level. Now that we've checked for any obstructions, let's reinstall the globe and bonnet and check for proper operation of the unit. First, push the drawer back into the unit. To install the globe, hold the globe by the black handle and set it into the base. Keep the globe handle and waste port oriented toward the top to ensure the globe is close to the home position. The large black gear on the rear of the globe should easily engage with the smaller white drive gear in the base. If the bonnet was completely removed, rotate the bonnet upward and align the hinge feature of the bonnet at the back of the base. You should hear the latches snap into place. Check to make sure the center tab at the top of the bonnet is secured in its pocket by pushing down on the bonnet at the tab location. Reinstall the fence by snapping it onto the bezel at the globe entrance. Plug the unit in and power it on. If your unit displays a solid blue light bar, you've been successful. If your unit is not displaying a solid blue light bar, please follow these troubleshooting steps. Occasionally, the DFI sensor will require a recalibration to ensure proper measurement accuracy. First, confirm that your firmware is up to date. Remove the waste drawer liner and wipe the drawer clean of debris. Add a piece of plain white paper to the bottom of the drawer. For example, a half sheet of printer paper. The purpose of the white paper is to provide a reflective surface for the DFI lasers. Make sure the paper is plain white and does not have a pattern. Also make sure that it will lay flat on the bottom of the drawer. Insert the waste drawer again. Do not add a waste drawer liner yet. Next, press the power button to turn the Litter Robot 4 off. Do not unplug the unit. Wait at least five seconds before beginning the following button press sequence. Press the control panel buttons one at a time in this order. Connect, reset, connect, empty, cycle. Make sure that you press each button within five seconds of the previous button press. If the control panel buttons are incorrectly pressed, the unit will remain off. Wait five seconds and repeat the previous step again. If correctly pressed, the unit will perform a lamp test. That means the LED display will illuminate red, green, and blue lights. Then it will begin to cycle to the dump position, illuminating a round robin green light. This will allow the DFI lasers to see the white paper at the bottom of the drawer when the waste port is positioned over the waste drawer. During calibration, the LED display will illuminate a solid yellow light with a flashing green light. If the calibration is successful, the LED display will illuminate a solid yellow light with a flashing blue light for five seconds. Then the unit will cycle to home. You can now remove the white paper from the waste drawer, add a new waste drawer liner, and resume use. Tip. For optimal DFI laser accuracy, you can leave the white paper in the bottom of the drawer, always under the drawer liner. If the calibration fails, the LED display will illuminate a solid yellow light with a flashing red light for five seconds. Then the unit will cycle home. If this happens, there's likely an issue with your litter robot. Please contact our customer experience team for additional assistance at whiskersupport.com.